dear students today we are going to discuss about independent t test independent t test also called the two sample t test independent sample t test or student t test is an inferential statistical test that determines whether there is a statistically difference between the means in two unrelated groups here we compare the means of two independent groups or two unrelated groups in pair t test we found out the difference between the means in two related groups or you can say it was the same group comparison before and after an intervention assumptions for the independent sample t test two independent categorical groups that represent your independent variable and the dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed and the variance of the dependent variable should be equal for example in the example we are going to we have i have given here is the increase in weight so the weight should be normally distributed let us see the formula for t test t is equal to sigma t is equal to x1 bar minus x2 divided by root of x1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 here x1 bar is the mean of group a and x2 bar is the mean of group b and s1 is the standard deviation of group a and s2 is the standard deviation of group b n1 is Uh, group A sample size here it is seven and N two is group B sample size again seven. So let us see the example two independent samples of albino rats chosen among both the sexes had the following increase in weight when fed on a diet. Can you say that the mean increase in weight differs significantly with sex? The table value is two point one seven nine. So seven. Values are given here for males. It is ninety eight, ninety six, eighty eight, ninety seven, eighty nine, ninety two, ninety five, and ninety. And for females, it is one hundred and twelve, eighty, ninety eight, hundred, eighty four, eighty two, and eighty nine. Let us see the hypothesis. Null hypothesis: There is no significant difference in weight gain between male and female rats, or you can say the difference is equal to zero. Alternative hypothesis: There is a significant difference in weight gain between male and female rats. That means the difference is not equal to zero. So, for calculating t value, we need mean of group one, mean of group two, and standard deviation of group one and standard deviation of group two. Here, the mean value we have calculated for uh, um, one first group that is males, uh, sigma. X by n was six forty seven by seven, so that will come around ninety two point four three. And for the group two, that is females, the S two bar the mean was uh, the total sigma X was six forty five divided by seven, that will came around ninety two point one four. So the formula to calculate standard deviation we have already discussed s is equal to root of sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 here x bar is a sample mean and x is each of the value of the data and n is the sample size here the sample size is 7 so we have plotted this in a table see the first column it is for males the values have been uh, charted down And the second column, it is x one minus x one bar. The x one bar we have calculated it is ninety two point four three, and by subtracting ninety six, ninety two point four three from ninety six, we will get three point five seven. Similarly, we have calculated for all the values. See the eighty eight minus ninety two point four three is minus four point four three, and in the next column. Third column is it? It is x minus uh, x one bar the whole square. The uh, square of three uh, point square of three point three seven is twelve point seven four. Similarly, we have calculated for all the values, and the sigma of x one minus x two bar whole square is seventy seven point six nine. 
and similarly for females also we have calculated the value for females the x uh, mean was 92.14 and we have uh, the first uh, row you can see versus 112 minus 92.14 it is 12.86 similarly we have calculated for all the scores and in the next column x2 minus x2 bar the whole square that also values also we have calculated the sigma of x2 minus x2 bar the whole square is 816.85 so we are going to substitute all these values in the formula for standard deviation that is root of sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 for females the uh, sigma for males uh, sigma x minus x bar was was the whole square was 77.69 that divided by n minus 1 here the n was 7 7 minus 1 6 so it will come around root of 12.95 that is 3.6 so for standard deviation for males was 6 3.6 and for females sigma x minus x bar the whole square was 816.85 that divided by n minus 1 that is 6 so it will come around root of 136.14 so that standard deviation for female group was 11.66 so we got all the values the mean and the standard deviation for both the groups we are going to substitute these values in the formula for t so again the formula is t is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar the absolute value divided by root of x1 square divided by n1 plus s2 square by n2 so we are going to substitute the values the s1 square by n1 was value was 8.1.85 and s2 square by n2 uh, was 136.14 divided by 7 that will come around 19.45 and x1 um, bar minus x2 bar is point zero point two eight and we are going to substitute all these values that is point zero point two eight divided by root of uh, twenty one point three that is root of twenty one point three is four point six two so the t value is zero point two eight divided by four point six two that will come around zero point zero six one so the t value in this example is zero uh, 0.061 so let us see the t distribution table here the t distribution table um, we have uh, the level of significance is kept at for alpha is equal to 0 0.05 level so the here the degree of freedom for um, independent sample t test is n1 plus n2 minus 2 so here 7 plus 7 minus 2 is equal to 12 so we are in the distribution table we are going to find where here it is a degree of freedom 12 so against uh, 12 degree of freedom the alpha value 0 0.05 the critical value is 2.17 it is already given in the question itself it is not given you can use the t distribution table and find out this is already given in the question so the here the degree of freedom was 12 and the calculated value uh, was less than the table value because the calculated value is 0 0.061 uh, and the table value is 2.17 at level of significance 0 0.05 percentage so here in this case we fail to reject the null hypothesis so you can interpret that there is no statistically significant difference in weight gain between male and female albino rats the t12 is equal to 0 0.061 p more than 0 0.05 so we fail to reject the null hypothesis so there is no significant difference in the weight gain between the male and female albino rats in the given example hope that the calculation of independent t-test is clear to you if you have not sub subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel for watching it thank you